What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, got myself another thing from Chefs Limited and this one is a whistling tea kettle. Stainless steel, but uh, you know, I have a tea kettle. I even think I showed it to you. It's just a stainless steel tea kettle. It's kind of modern and cool. But one of the things that it doesn't have is this old school, you know, just like you expect and you saw in television shows way back when, you know, people would heat up water for coffee or tea and once the, the water was boiling, or more accurately, creating steam and forcing the steam through the little cap on the nozzle, it would go and you'd know your water was ready. So I wanted that because I do heat up a lot of water and you may say, well, why do you do that? Well, because, you know, a lot of times after dinner, People want a cup of coffee, they want to make tea, and it's really easy to heat up water, put out some tea bags, uh, ask people if they want a, a, a French press for coffee, and then let them decide what they are going to uh, serve themselves for an after dinner drink. And you can use hot water for a lot of stuff, you know, instant hot chocolate mix this winter or fall, um, whatever it may be, but uh, it's just nice to, to have a lot of hot to be able to make hot water. now. First things first, it's kind of like a kettle ball, or it's really probably about the shape of a small bowling ball, like the top two thirds of it. And this is really kind of a glossy, almost piano black type of finish. It just looks modern and cool, and it's totally round with a little flare at the bottom, and then pretty robust stainless steel bottom here, and then chrome, or I should say, polished stainless steel types of hardware around uh, everywhere else, including the top here, which has little detents, as you can see on the edge, so that when you put it in, you can put it in, push it in and snap it in. And kind of an egg-shaped uh, handle on the top here. And that part is plastic. This part is metal, plastic, metal, plastic, metal, metal, plastic. Uh, stainless steel handle, which is also round, keeps uh keeps the style consistent and just looks really good and then this handle up here is clearly rubberized it might not look like that but it's very grippy it's a little bit thick maybe a millimeter too thick and so it should protect your hand from getting uh, any of the heat transferred from the water and the, the metal construction of the tea kettle up to your hand and in fact the cool thing is, even though my hands and my knuckles are a little close to the top piece here, because this is met or plastic instead of metal, I don't have to worry about accidentally getting a little action, a little branding action on my fingers from the top there. The, the um, spout of the tea kettle is just kind of round tubing sticking out there, and then you put this little cap on it, and the way the whistling works is it's really not too high tech. There's just a little channel that pushes a little hole there, steam for is forced through there, and then kind of shoots out the sides. There's a little hole on either side. You can see all the way through there. And it just kind of forces the steam out the sides, kind of like a snorting raging bull, and it should go whistle, 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 as the water gets hot. And then to pull it off, it has a little metal ring there so my caution to you is when you're pulling it off you know obviously you want to use like a hot pad or an oven glove or something to take it off or or put the handle of a fork or spoon in there and pull it off before you obviously pour it out my assumption anyway but that just fits right on there and then you can heat up your water so nothing high tech at all about it except for the look it just looks modern cool and uh something that should fit a lot of modern trendy kitchens, but you're heating up water in kind of the most old fashioned way possible. And I think you're gonna want a lot of hot water. It's good for a lot of things. Chef's Limited, stainless steel whistling kettle, Peter Von Panda, out.